In this video we're going to be talking about creating gravity and giving Adventure Girl here the ability to jump and doing the animations for jumping because right now all she can do is uh, walk in a straight line which is not super exciting. So the very first thing I want to do is create just a really simple gravity system and I've made gravity systems in a number of tutorials it's going to look pretty much exactly the same. The idea when we're doing gravity is when we click start we're going to forever do a check for if we're touching the ground. So in this case the ground is sort of this color right here at the top of the platform. So if I go to sensing we have this touching color so you can say if we are touching the color of the this top part of the background if we're not touching that color so if we're touching that color it means we're on the ground but if we're not touching that color then it means that we should be falling because we're not actually on the ground we're somewhere in the air and so we can just say in motion we can say change y by and we can choose some value like negative three and so now if I start this application and I just move her around she'll fall whenever she's not actually touching the ground and so that's how you create gravity. It's really pretty simple. You're just going to forever, uh, if they're not touching the ground, move them down by some amount. And this is just however fast you want the gravity to be, however quickly you want them to move down. Next up, we're going to create our jumping animation. And so the first thing we want to do is it's going to be another control, sort of like our move backwards and forwards. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another if statement here and put it at the very bottom. And then we're going to say if we are touching... Uh, if we are not, as long as we are touching the ground, because she has to be touching the ground to jump, otherwise she'd just be able to jump through the air. If we are touching color ground, so if we're touching the ground color, and if we also are pressing the button to jump, which is going to be space. So if key pressed space. So if we are touching the, cut the ground and we are pressing the space button, then the animations we're going to need are uh, her jump animations. And so those start at jump one right here at 21 and they go all the way to 30 although it's going to look a little bit different from how we did our, our movement animations before so to start out with we'll just switch her to costume jump one right when we start and then once we do that i'm going to have her repeat for two uh, i'm going to have her switch to her first two jumping costumes right after that but i'm not going to have her go up yet and that's because I want there to be like when you're jumping, there's this moment when you jump, right, where you're bending your knees and pushing up before you actually start moving up. And so these first two aren't going to move her up. They're just going to be that first part where she's like preparing to jump. So now I want to add in the part where she actually is able to jump. And so if we remember on our jumping animations, we started at 21 and we went two up. So we're doing these first two. She's not actually jumping yet. That's her preparing to jump. And then in these next ones, she's going to be jumping. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go over these seven uh, costumes. So we'll say repeat seven times, uh, next costume, and then we'll also change her Y. And so the one thing to remember when you're changing the Y for jumping is you want it to be some number larger than gravity. If I make it just three, then she's going to go up at the same rate that the gravity is going down. So if I do it right now and I jump, she doesn't actually go anywhere because gravity's pulling her down at the same speed she's jumping up. So I would pick a number like nine or maybe like, uh, I'm gonna try 12 for this one and we'll see how that looks. So there we go, there's our jumping animation. Unfortunately, you still have a few problems. Um, the main one is that she can still run around like in the middle of the air, we, we jump and then she can just like run on air, which doesn't make any sense. So we're gonna prevent her from doing that by having a wait until block. So we're gonna go grab a wait until and then we are going to wait until uh, she is touching the ground again. So we're going to wait until she's touching the ground, and then it'll go back to using to allowing her to do movement. So the way this works is if she's touching the ground and we press space and we switch her to costume to jump one, we iterate over all of her jumping animations. We move her up by 12 for seven of those jumping animations. And then we, we wait here. So we freeze this whole loop, basically. Nothing can run in this whole like forever loop until this wait until finishes running. So until she's touching the ground again, it stops us from being able to do anything else like move our character around. And so when we actually run this, she jumps and now I can't actually change her direction. She just, whatever she's jumping when she starts, that's what, that's what her jump is going to be. And she can't move in the middle of the air anymore because that doesn't make any sense. So that was a pretty short one and the next one will be much more complicated. In the next video, we're gonna talk about creating our zombie enemies using clones and then we're gonna make them move against our scrolling backdrop.